it is wine time and today I'm enjoying a wine from Missouri so we just recently visited Missouri to do some of the um, wine trail over there and we originally went over for an event which was taking place on the Herman wine trail um, around Herman Missouri area but um, usually when we go over there we like to sort of make a three-day weekend of it that way we can visit some wineries on the way up to the Herman area in Missouri and then some more on the way back home um, in Missouri and sometimes also in Illinois. So um, there's some beautiful, beautiful venues. They've got gorgeous vineyards, really nice wine winery uh, venues to enjoy your wine. Uh, in the summertime, they've got some beautiful outdoor space and sometimes even in the winter, they'll have some heated areas. Um, we were there on a very, very cold day this year or a very cold weekend actually, but um, even so, we still spent some time, um, a little bit of time outside visiting the different wineries. And today's wine is from a winery called Defiance Ridge, and it is located in Defiance, Missouri. And so we visited there actually twice that day because uh, they have a restaurant as well. And right now they're doing, check, check their website before you go, but currently they're doing um, dinners as well. So normally they have menu throughout the day. Um, but right now they're doing dinners on uh, Thursday and Friday evenings as well up until nine o'clock. And so we had gone early in the day. It was at, in fact, our first stop of the day at Defiance Ridge to do a wine tasting and enjoy some wine. And then after we did some other visits, we decided to come back and enjoy dinner. And they have really, really great food there as well. So, but this wine from Defiance Ridge is called Norton. It's actually called Defiant Norton. Um, it's made with the Norton grape. Now the Norton grape, as you can see, makes a red wine, um, usually done in the dry style. Um, it can also be done sweet, sweeter, semi-sweet, um, but mostly it's done in a dry style. And Norton is the state grape of Missouri. And this wine glass was actually developed specifically for Norton. Uh, and this one actually has the logo from Defiance Ridge. You can see here's their wine. And this one happens to have, I got this at Defiance Ridge, so that's why I'm featuring them first uh, with the Norton. This has got their logo on it as well. Um, I also found some later on without the logo, but I was having trouble finding the Norton wine glasses. This is very specific, but you all know I'm very uh, glass specific with my wine drinking, and I really like to have uh, the right glasses. They're designed to enhance the particular flavors in a particular wine, and they do a lot of research to sort that out. And so the Norton glass really brings out all the aromas and flavors of the Norton grape. This particular one, I get a lot of cherry, sort of dried cherry. It's got a spice, it's got some cinnamon. It's really got a lot of flavors going on. Mm, it's a really a nice, nice, refreshing, dry wine. Um, I've just put a slight chill on it, so that it's not room temperature um, to make it nice for drinking. Um, but I thought I'd show a little more. So this wine glass I'm enjoying, here's the another one I bought. This doesn't have, so I can tilt it and you can see. So you can see it's very sort of roundish shaped or oval shaped, and it's got a very narrow opening. So the opening almost is reminiscent of a white wine glass, but the shape is very different. Um, normally when I drink reds, like if I do Cab, Cab Merlot blends, Merlot, this would be my glass. And again, you see the, the opening of the glass is very different. The shape is very different. Um, then if I'm doing a Pinot Noir, this is a Riedel's Pinot Noir glass. So you can see very different shape and more open at the top. So each glass uh, is designed for a specific reason. And these are just a few. I actually have a wine glass tutorial. So check it out on my uh, YouTube or my Facebook page. YouTube is Pam's Passport. My Facebook page is my page, Pam Ryman, or Wine O Tours, and you can see the glass tutorial as well. But I didn't have this particular glass. I was on a search for it and just hadn't found any until I made it over to Missouri again and started asking around. And so I got this nice one at Defiance Ridge. Um, I actually got this one and another one called Curling Vine, which I've talked about that winery before. And I'll feature some more Nortons and some more wines from the Missouri uh, visits that we made on this uh, last weekend. And in the meantime, it is wine time. Cheers.